from Brett Haley's 2018 Sundance hit, Hearts Beat Loud. Please welcome songwriters Keegan DeWitt and Jeremy Bullock, with lead actors Nick Offerman on bass and Kiersey Clemens on vocals, performing their film's title song.
Thanks, guys. He's an actor and comedian, currently playing Derek Hofsteller in the NBC comedy, The Good Place. He's had many recurring roles in acclaimed shows like Transparent, The League, Parks and Recreation, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. He also co-starred as Nadal in the film, The Dictator. He was at Sundance 2015 in Sleeping With Other People, and he's back this year, starring in the hilarious film, The Long Dumb Road. Please welcome the host of the 2018 Sundance Film Festival Award Show, Jason Mansukas. Here we go. How are we doing, Sundance? So many credits. They read so many credits of mine. Thank you, man, for reading all of my IDB, IMDB. Much appreciated. 10 days, everybody. Who's been here all 10 days? <laughs> Oh, man, brutal, <laughs> brutal. How many of you are sick? Raise your hands. If you are sick, please stop shaking my hand. And then when I say, how you doing, saying, oh, man, I'm so sick. Uh, it's gross. 10 days is too much, I think. Although, I don't know. I was gonna come out here and start to try and get a chant going of 10 more days. And then I was like, nobody's gonna do that. Because I think if this thing goes, <laughs> if this thing goes even one more day, I genuinely believe the snow will run red with the blood of filmmakers. <laughs> People are ready to murder each other. Uh, I wanna thank everybody at Sundance for asking me uh, to host these awards. I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, I was playing racquetball with Robert Redford at the Hollywood Actors Gym. <laughs> like we do every Tuesday. Pretty rad. Uh, he was up, he always wins. And he looked at me and he said, Zooks, he calls me Zooks. He said, Zooks, I want you to host the awards this year. And I was like, Bobby, I don't know. This seems like a lot, it seems like a big thing. He goes, and I would love it if you would start by performing your one-man, one-hour show depicting the events of the Sacco and Vanzetti trial. And I said, Bobby Reds, I don't know if I can do that. We call him Bobby Reds at the gym, don't worry about it. Um, I said, I don't know, because here's my thing. On a process level, I get so in the headspace of both Sacco and Vanzetti that I don't think I'll be able to come out of it in order to do the awards. How about instead, I pitch you this. I do three to five minutes of half-assed bits at the top, right? Barely thought through. Things that I've maybe sketched down days, hours, and even minutes before this thing started. <laughs> Half-baked ideas, or random observations, things that likely won't work. I'd like to do that instead. He looked me right in the eyes and he said, Zooks, you're my best friend in the whole world. 
And I said, Bobby, you are not my best friend. But I like you, I'm fond of you. He said, that's a great idea, let's go with that. So here we are, here I am, standing in a beautiful city, beautiful people, in one of the greatest independent film marketplaces in the whole world, plus one of the nicest Acura dealerships I've ever been to. <laughs> Guys, how can I get you into an Integra? Hear me out. Hear me out. These cars are great, right? I love a film festival that you can just suddenly find yourself surrounded by cars with like facts about them covered in snow. <laughs> Cannot see the car at all, just covered in snow. I love being at this festival. I've been a couple times before. I was that kid in high school who had uh, a subscription to Premier Magazine, who would read about Sundance, who would be so excited to discover filmmakers like John Sayles or Nicole Hall of Center, Whit Stillman, Hal Hartley. I'd go out and go to the movie store and rent their movies and watch their movies and think I was pretty fucking cool. And now here I am, a couple of decades later, right? Walking these same streets. I had an epiphany the other day. I was like, holy shit, this is fucking crazy. I am standing in the exact same direct TV lodge that Whit Stillman stood in when he was here with Metropolitan. I'm in the exact same IMDB lounge that John Sayles was here, right in, I was like, this is special. This is exciting. This is independent film. <laughs> get it together, guys, get it together. 10 more days, right? 10 more days, 10 more days. We'll punctuate the whole night with chants. Don't you worry. I will make you chant whether you want to or not. Um, I do find this festival to be sometimes a little insincere. If you guys wouldn't mind, I'd like to do something if you'd help me participate, just very briefly. Um, so, uh, hey, uh, do you, you had a movie here? What, what movie, everybody just say, what movie do you have here? Oh, I didn't see it. But I heard the screening was amazing. I heard the screening, people went insane. I heard everybody was crying. Everybody's talking about your screening. Everybody's freaking out about your screening. I heard everybody cried and then shit. I heard, I heard your screening brought about the rapture. JK, there is no God, but let's also think that your screening could have caused a riot. I was freaking out that I couldn't be at your screening, but I was at the Grey Goose Lounge and lost total track of time because Nick Cage was there. And when you look into his eyes, you start melting because he's what happens when you open the Ark of the Covenant. I feel like I had 17 conversations just like that. Lots of people, lots of people who have fake sincerity for me. I said it at the beginning, everybody's sick. It makes me stressed. I don't want to touch your door handles. I don't want to go to any of your stuff. All I want to do is like not have to shake hands. I don't want to get sick. Everybody's got the flu. Everybody's gonna basically like, you're all basically a Petri dish, giving each other the same strain of the flu and then like, jumping into all these rental condo hot tubs together? Like, I have an update. Everybody here is going home with the flu and chlamydia. Like, I'm not kidding you guys. These are condos you don't own. Don't get in the hot tub. That is a huge mistake. I was invited to so many hot tub parties. That's not a thing. That's not a thing that should happen, a hot tub party? No thanks, not interested. I'm not interested in a hot tub party. I'm not interested in hanging out with strangers whose maybe movies I've just seen in like a bathing suit in a random hot tub just being like, I'm pretty sure I'm getting blisters currently. <laughs> also, I've heard two people say some version of the phrase, well, I'm single at Sundance. <laughs> you people are monsters. <laughs> so many people, the minute they land, they're like, boop, 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 boop. Everything's happening now. Everybody is acting like straight monsters. Everybody's up until like 4 a.m. at Tao going bananas, just finger blasting each other and then going and watching movies at like 8 a.m. I'm being told I can say finger blasting? Okay, great. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much. Very sadly, um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who was, <laughs> who was here earlier in the week for uh, the documentary RBG about her, uh, couldn't make it to the uh, awards tonight, but she sent me a pretty cool text that I was pretty stoked about just to kind of like, I was like, you know what, that's pretty fucking cool. It's not that often that a Supreme Court justice like texts me to be like, and you'll get it. She goes, hey girl. <clears throat> and then it's that emoji that's got its like tongue sticking out like, not gonna make the awards, you turd. Fresh pow pow on the mountain means mama and her boys, three Zs, are going night shredding? Let's meet at Tao at 2 a.m. This town's about to get turnt RBG style. And then it's just middle finger emoji, 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 and then just like a bunch of dick pics. I'm not sure whose, but like, it's not cool. It's like a bunch of random dicks. I can say dick pics? Yeah? Cool, thank you guys. Uh, we just uh, uh, heard an amazing song. Uh, give it up for uh, Nick Offerman, Kiersey Clemens, <laughs> Keegan DeWitt. Um, Hearts Beat Loud, great movie, great song. A lot of music in a lot of the movies uh, this year. Very exciting. Um, blind Spotting. Uh, and did anybody see Debbie Diggs perform at the TBS Lounge earlier in the week? Pretty great. Um, not a lot of people know that the movie that I uh, am here with, Long Dumb Road. Uh, also, also wonderful, amazing music uh, by Keegan DeWitt. I personally wrote a theme song for the movie and recorded it in the hopes that they would use it and uh, they chose not to. But you know what, I figured like, here I am, I've got an opportunity, I've got a captive audience, why don't I just play it for you guys, you can see what you think. All right, so let's, let's do that. You don't have it? <laughs> Just play the track. <clears throat> no? Okay. Uh, okay, so, you know, I'll, uh, I'll just sing it. I'll just sing it. I'll just sing it for you guys. Here we go. <clears throat> oh boy, here we go. <clears throat> the movie's called The Long Dumb Road. This is the long, dumb road. It's a plane of guitar. This is the long, long, dumb, dumb road. It's not a short road, it's a long road. It's not a smart road, it's a dumb road. It's not a highway, it's just a road. It's the long, dumb road. This is like a three-minute instrumental section right here. Uh, but I'm going to skip that and just go to the next verse. It's a story about a guy named Nat. Just a kid driving to college and a guy he picks up on the way. That's me. I'm Richard Hay. This is a story about a long, dumb road, long, dumb road. This song is 11 minutes long. <laughs> so like, like, buckle up, we're just at the beginning. This is kind of the uh, opening uh, part of the song. <clears throat> and then it gets into like a, it goes, it, it, there's like a there's a lot of drums. I'm just doing them with my mouth, but like I played them on the track. If you can imagine. So, so, but it's like, so it goes, it goes, it goes long, dig a doo, dig a doo, ba, dumb, dig a doo, dig a doo, ba, road, dig a doo, dig a doo, ba, long, dumb road, everybody, long, dig a doo, dig a doo, ba, dumb, dig a doo, dig a doo, ba, road, dig a doo, dig a doo, ba, long, dumb road, one more time, long, dig a doo, dig a doo, ba, dumb, dig a doo, dig a doo, ba, road, dig a doo, dig a doo, ba, shame on you. You let me, I was obviously making that up, and you guys fell for it. Uh, the altitude made that very hard to sing and do the drums. Guys, I'm ending on that song. We're gonna get this started. We're gonna hand out some awards. 
I've been asked to tell you if you are the winner of the award, keep your speech brief. And I have been empowered to sing you off stage if necessary, in all likelihood with Montel Jordan's This Is How We Do It. So if you don't want to hear that, and by the way, as you've just heard, I cannot sing. Please, keep your, uh, keep your speeches brief. Um, OK, here we go. And now please join me in welcoming the executive director of the Sundance Institute, Carrie Putnam. Hi, everybody. Uh, it's great to be here with all of you celebrating the closing night of Sundance Film Festival 2018. Yeah. I want to especially um, thank and recognize the amazing artists who are here with us tonight for sharing your work with us. Um, I am so excited by your stories and by the conversations that they inspire. Um, I also want to thank the incredible Sundance audiences. Um, I love how the entire, yes, let's see here, let's hear it for the audiences. I really love how the entire community here at the festival is curious, adventurous, and so eager to engage with one another in the dialogue. Um, but it all starts with the work. It's the work we see on the screens coming from such fresh, creative, and independent perspectives. So I would just like to encourage all of us to take this energy that we feel here at the festival and continue to advocate together as a community on behalf of the diverse stories, the independent artists, and the bold creative visions we all want to see in the culture all year long. I'd love to think of us going out here and amplifying all of these stories we've heard and making sure they get seen long after. So that's what I hope for. Thank you. I now I just like to take this opportunity to thank our incredible sponsors and supporters, and in particular our festival's presenting sponsors, Acura, Sundance TV, Chase Sapphire, and we'd like to thank, um, extend our deepest thanks to the Governor's Office of Economic Development and the State of Utah as our festival host state and to Summit County and the wonderful city of Park City for its continued support. Earlier this week, we announced the Sundance Institute Open Borders Fellowship presented by Netflix, honoring three of the most exciting emerging filmmakers from this world cinema stage working in both fiction and nonfiction. The winners are from Syria to Lal Durki for Of Fathers and Sons. from India, Chaitanya Tanam, for his untitled follow-up to his acclaimed debut film, Court. And from Mexico, Tatiana Huezo, for Night on Fire. We also announced the Sundance Institute NHK, NHK Award, which went to Remy Weeks from the UK for his house. And last Sunday, we announced the Sundance Institute Amazon Studios Producers Awards. The awards for documentary feature producer went to, hang on, gotta say the names first, you can't, went to Katie Chevigny and Marilyn Ness from Big Mouth Productions for Dark Money. And the award for narrative feature producer went to Sev Ohanian for Search. And finally, the Alfred P. Sloan Feature Film Prize provided by the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation is a juried award presented to an outstanding film focusing on science or technology as a theme. The prize winning creative team receives a cash award of $20,000 for its gripping and original interrogation of our evolving relationship with technology and for its rigorous formal experimentation with narrative the 2018 Sloan Feature Film Prize was presented to 
Anesh Shigani, Shiganti, and Sevohanian for search. On behalf of everyone at Sundance Institute, congratulations to each and every one of you, all of you filmmakers here. It's now my great pleasure to welcome the director of the Sundance, uh, the director of the Sundance Film Festival, John Cooper. Hello, I have some pretty um, amazing thank yous to do. First, I'd like to take this opportun opportunity to thank some of the hardest working people you, were ev you will ever meet. That is the staff of the 2018 Sundance Film Festival. And then there's another group here. And I'd like to th extend our deepest thanks to a group without whom we could never do this, the dedicated and tireless volunteers of Sundance 2018. 2,200 of them. I do need to single out a group. There's a group of volunteers who have given over 100 hours and their time to make this festival a success. We call them the 100 Club. I think they're coming up right now. Oops. There's, a, there's an award we do. It's the annual Gail Stevens Volunteer Award. It's given to a volunteer who's demonstrated a long-standing passion and commitment to the work of the Institute. Gail Stevens was an active board member, um, Utah Advisory Board member for 18 years. This award was given at the start of the festival and it went to William Eagle Pollies. You may have seen him. Yes. 20 years of service at this festival. Without getting paid, I think I did about three um, back in the day. Um, and I want to thank especially all the jurors um, that came to this. They gave their heart and soul to this. They taught me a lot about what we do, and I want to thank them at this point. You will meet them later. So here we are. I was going to write a speech or something, and the only thing I could think of is the story lives in you. I, I don't know why. but. Um, you know what, I think all the people in this room have sort of already blown that concept because your stories now live in all of us. And I think you're gonna go out in the world with your stories and it's gonna be miraculous and I wanna thank you for sharing them with us, choosing Sundance and bringing your stories to us and I thank you for that. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce the guy who leads our incredible team of programmers, your friend and mine, the director of programming, Trevor Groth. Good evening, everyone. The Short Film Awards were given out in a separate ceremony earlier this week. The shorts programs were once again presented by YouTube, and the jury included Chris Ware, an award-winning cartoonist known for his graphic novels, Shirley Manson, an actress and celebrated musician, perhaps best known as the lead vocalist of the alternative rock band Garbage, and filmmaker and Sundance alumnus Shireen Dabas, who has had two features premiere at the festival. You know, the shorts awards are a short film special jury award went to Emergency, written by K.D. Davila and directed by Kerry Williams. A short film special jury award went to For Nana Ana, written and directed by Luis De Filippis. A short film special jury award went to Fav, written and directed by Jeremy Comte. The Short Film Jury Award Animation went to Glucose, written and directed by Jaron Braxton. The Short Film Jury Award Nonfiction went to The Traitor, Sovdaggari, directed by Tamta Gabachidza. The Short Film Jury Award International Fiction went to Would You Look at Her, written and directed by Goran Stolevsky. The Short Film Jury Award U.S. Fiction went to Hair Wolf, written and directed by Mariana Diallo. 
And finally, the short film Grand Jury Prize went to Matria, written and directed by Alvaro Gago. We congratulate uh, all the winners and all of the short filmmakers here at the festival. They're incredible films. I loved them all. Thank you so much. Happy trails. All right. The next section is devoted to the films marked by bold, innovative storytelling that signal a greater next wave in American cinema. Let's take a look at the films in Next. This is the part where you guys awkwardly watch me read off of a teleprompter poorly. <laughs> He's an actor, writer, producer, and director, and a four-time Academy Award nominee. A longtime veteran of Sundance, he's, the he's at the festival this year with three films. He's featured in The King, stars in Juliet Naked, and he co-wrote, produced, and directed Blaze, which is playing in US dramatic competition. Please welcome Ethan Hawke. <laughs> really cool to let well never mind wasn't I didn't have anything interesting to say the next audience award presented to uh, by Adobe goes uh, to uh, this is very confusing but uh, a film called next uh, by Anish Shiganti is that right what did I do wrong it's called search search Wow, I, oof, I had some rough idea of what I was gonna say and then they just all went away as I walked up. Um, this movie uh, was made in a very tiny edit room for two years uh, with more or less five people every single day collaborating and fighting and arguing and making and creating. Uh, so to be here uh, in a room so much larger than that room uh, with so much more than five people getting an award for it is, is, is unbelievable. And, and that movie would not have been possible without our incredible cast and crew who took a massive leap of faith and trust in us to follow us with this crazy film. Yeah, it takes so much bravery to be in a movie when you say, yeah, it's gonna take place completely on computer screens or stupidity, one of those, but hey, it worked out. <laughs> um, so thank you to those guys. Thank you to the programmers, all of you guys who also were the first people to see this film and let us even have an audience in the first place. And most of all, thank you to the audience. Thank you for lining up. Thank you for being in a waitlist line and pressing two hours before to be here. Thank you for trading tickets for search. Thank you for walking through a blizzard to get here. Thank you for talking about the movie or tweeting about the movie or anything. I cannot believe we're here right now. This is so awesome. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you guys. All right. New for the 2018 festival is the Next Innovator Award which recognizes the most innovative and forward-thinking films screened in the next category. 
This award is chosen by a single juror who's an iconic figure and innovator. Arguably, the most commercially successful drag queen of all time. Supermodel, actor, musician, writer, and the Emmy-winning host and executive producer of RuPaul's Drag Race. Please welcome the one and only RuPaul. I brought my purse because I don't trust no bitches. I carry my purse with me. I gotta tell you, I had so much fun watching these films. I watched 10 films and they were so beautiful. I fell in love with each and every one of these movies. It's the hardest thing I've ever done is trying to pick a winner for this thing. Because the truth is, you're all winners. You know how hard it is to make a movie? Even, even a terrible movie, <laughs> listen to me, I know this, I've done it. It's so difficult to do, so, to, from, from the idea to putting it together, finding the financing and then actually doing it and then getting people to watch it, it's amazing. So it was such an honor to be the judge and jury for this. I feel like Judge Judy. <laughs> All right, so here it is, here we go. Got them right here. I have to announce that we have a tie. We have a tie. I fought long and hard with myself over this. <laughs> and the first winner is, first winner of the next Innovator Award is Night Comes On by Jordana Spiro. <laughs> Jordana's got a film show. Accepting on camera. We're going to uh, take a look at this uh, acceptance speech on camera. Is it going to be right here? Um, wow, this is incredible. Um, I'm so bummed that I can't be there, but um, I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you, Sundance, Sundance Catalyst, Sundance Institute. Definitely couldn't have made the film without you. My awesome, talented, generous crew, producers, um, Angelica, Dom, Tatum. Um, thank you guys so much for giving me all of your love and support and generosity. And RuPaul, yes, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? Thank you, RuPaul. That's right, thank you, RuPaul. Thank you so much, I'm so glad you liked the film. Great, that's lovely. Oh, it's a gorgeous movie. It's a gorgeous movie. I'm just going to put that right there for right now. Okay, here we go. The second winner of the next innovator, blah, blah, blah. What is it? I got it. It's written down right here. The next innovator award, the second, the tie, goes to We the Animals by Jeremiah Zagar. Come on up. Jordana and I lived together during Sundance, so it's uh, some serendipity there. Um, got him. I didn't, yeah, this is, I didn't prepare anything because I didn't think we would win anything. Um, Take off your clothes! <laughs> so, um, so, let's see. I want to thank um, Justin Torres for uh, allowing me to adapt his book. Um, it's, uh, it's, yeah, I don't know how to words for it. He actually just wrote something about you. Did you know that? The lie! <laughs> the lie! Um, I want to thank Cinereach. Um, <laughs> Phil and Paul and Andrew um, 
and everybody there who helped us make this movie. Um, I want to thank Jeremy Yakis, who I've been making movies with since I was 13 years old, um, and Christina King, who were also producers. Um, and I want to thank my wife and child, who um, my wife catered the movie, and my child is in the movie. That's my kid. Um, and the do you most. Know, do you know who the father is? <laughs> I don't, his eyes are very green, which is shocking to me. Um, so, you know, maybe not. And then um, I want to thank this cast, this unbelievable cast. Um, so, Evan Rosado, Josiah Gabriel, um, Isaiah Christian, and um, Raul Castillo and Sheila Vans. They are unbelievable. And um, I know I'm missing people, but I mean, just thank you so much for, for all of this. Doing, everybody? Great. Okay, it's time to take a look at the world cinema competitions. There was a miscommunication. <laughs> I wasn't trying to jump in on that, but like, I got some good moves in there. Okay, the World Cinema Documentary Jury includes Paulina Suarez, the director of Ambulante, a nonprofit organization that supports and promotes documentary cinema culture across Mexico. Also on the jury are Billy Luther, the director and producer of two award-winning documentaries, Miss Navajo and Grab, both of which premiered at Sundance as well as Jocelyn Barnes, a renowned producer who has had numerous films at Sundance, including Hale County This Morning, This Evening, which is playing in U.S. documentary competition this year. She is currently nominated for the 2018 Academy Award for Best Documentary Feature for Strong Island, which premiered at last year's festival. Please welcome all three jurors.
thank you, Sundance. It's an honor to present these awards um, for its lucid portrayal of a perverse and infectious phenomenon that is an increasing threat to democratic culture worldwide. The World Cinema Documentary Special Jury Award for editing goes to our new president, <laughs> Maxim Podorovkin and Matiev Kulyakov. Thank you so much. This is totally unexpected. And um, I want to thank the people who helped us make this film, Impact Partners, Field of Vision. You guys have been great. Um, and mostly I want to thank Sundance for taking, uh, for embracing this crazy, crazy film. And you know, the, the responses from the audience, this film has generated so much argument, so much kind of conversation that I'm really, really grateful for the fact that that's going to continue largely due to this, and thank you guys so much. I didn't expect that. I don't know what to say. Oh, thanks for... Thank you, man. We were, we were editing this. <laughs> thanks to my family, always supporting family. We were editing this film for about 56 weeks, I believe, and so this is really the, the best award for us, so thank you. For its capacity to compare the ways of life, people, and distinct light of the Siberian landscape, the World Cinema Documentary Special Jury Award goes to Maxim Arbugev and Peter Indergand for Genesis 2.0. Sorry, I'm really limited in my English. But first of all, I wanna say I wanna say thanks to my protagonist for their answering questions, for their kindness and for their trust. I think for documentary filmmakers it's really important to have a trust of their protagonists. And I wanna say I wanna say thanks to my family, they're here. They always supported me 24 hours. And I wanna say big thanks to Peter Intergran. And also on behalf of the Peter Intergran, I wanna say thanks to the audience, thanks to the jury, thanks to everybody who has supported our film and thanks Sundance Institute. Thanks Sundance volunteers and thanks jury. And finally, I want to thank, say thanks to producer and director of Genesis 2.0, Christian Fry. You know, I'm, you know, this this in this film, I found a friend, and Christian, you're my friend. You know, thank you very much. For its revealing juxtaposition of intimate performative political registers, for electrifying complexity in the fraught relationship between the filmmaker and protagonist, which resulted in a vibrant collaboration, 
The World Cinema Documentary Special Jury Award goes to Stephen Loveridge and MIA for Mentagi Maya MIA. director, Steve Loveridge, is out with the flu at the condo. He is going to be so disappointed not to be here. Um, but this is amazing. Um, thanks to Cinereach and um, also, the, <laughs> um, and of course, thanks to Sundance and the jurors. Um, and thanks to MIA. Um, so <laughs> for its recuperation of women's creative labor, for bringing to light an alternate history of independent cinema, for subverting patriarchal sadism, <laughs> and for its multi-layered use of sound, the directing award for World Cinema Documentary goes to Shirkers by Sandy Penn. This is strange being up here. I wish I could, I, I wish I had something to read, but I guess I have to improvise. Um, I, um, you know, making a film, it's like keeping a secret for a very long time. And for me, it was 25 years. So um, finally, you know, with Shirkers, it's a film where, you know, 25 years later, I'm whispering in, in your ear and you heard me, which is amazing. I think cinema is magic. Um, Shirkers was about me you know, being a teenager, selecting my collaborators and making this film, Shirkers, 25 years later about the Shirkers back then. Um, it's, you know, it's me um, finding collaborators for, from around the world and making this crazy story come to life. Um, but two years ago, two years ago, I was here at Sundance. I was invited by the Sundance documentary film. Um, oh man, this is, this is strong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sometimes documentary film program and um, Tabitha and Kristen believed in me from the start and you know they had me pitching this crazy idea two years ago and here I am with a finished product um, so it's them I owe a lot to them um, their belief and the faith in me and then Center Reach came on board Center Reach my god they they believe in crazy stories and crazy people um, and um, Thank you, programmers. Thank you, my fam, my Shirkers fam. I, I, you know, these people, I just, you know, they had not met each other. I mean, it was just me and my garage and my editors and these people I was talking to on Skype and stuff. And we pieced this crazy movie together and I brought them all here. I put them in the condo. I stayed in a diff different condo and I said, <laughs> and they love each other. I mean, it was just like fabulous. Um, that's, there's a, a movie in there somewhere, um, Ishai from, from Israel, who flew over here, my composer is fabulous. Has been cooking breakfast for everybody, and and you know Maya, my producer from Maine, um, Singapore, uh, and, and Jasmine, who flew in all the way from Singapore, um, and Iris from Toronto, and Eddie, the sound guy from New York. So we're all here um, for this crazy movie. And I think it's it's just amazing, but I think cinema is magic, and you just got to keep believing in it. Thank you. It's such an honor to be on this jury and to be on any jury at Sundance, so thank you all for having us. For confronting and embracing profound fear in the service of revealing a destroyed world, the terrifying experience of war, and the even more terrifying ways in which we as human beings adjust to it. Walking both literal and political minefields with discerning intelligence and restraint, 
for reminding us of what is at stake in its intimate portrayal of the forces competing for the futures of the next generation, and from our hearts for getting those tattoos. The World Cinema Grand Jury Prize goes to A Fathers and Sons. <laughs> Sundance is my family and cinema is my religion. I can, can I describe more. I want to thank special Heba Khalid, Hans Robert Eisenhower, Tobias Zibert, Ansgar Freirich, Eva Keme, Kahtan Hassoun, Anna Fapini and everyone who without him this film cannot be with you. I'm so honored to dedicate this award to my new home, city Berlin, and the people of Berlin, city of love and peace. I'm so glad to be here with this award. Thank you all. The World Cinema Dramatic Jury includes Hana Issa, who has been with the Doha Film Institute in Qatar since its inception, currently serving as its Director of Strategy and Development, heading film funding and programming. The Institute's supported films include the Academy Award winning The Salesman by Ashkar Farhadi and the Academy Award nominee Loving Vincent by Dorota Kabila and Hugh Welchman. She is joined by Michael J. Werner, an American-born, Hong Kong-based producer and strategic consultant whose resume includes over 30 high-profile independent films, including Wong Kar Wai's The Grandmaster and Greg Araki's Mysterious Skin. Also on the jury is Ruben Oslin, a Swedish director and screenwriter whose force majeure won the Uncertain Regard Jury Prize at Cannes in 2014. His latest film, The Square, won the Palme d'Or, and is currently nominated for the 2018 Academy Award. Please welcome all three jurors. And um, just wanted to say a few words. I speak on behalf of all of us on the jury. Uh, we just wanted to congratulate all the filmmakers in our section. Uh, we were so impressed with the wide spectrum of uh, expressions and ideas and perspectives and for the bold and innovative storytelling. So these were actually tough decisions for us to make. Uh, so congratulations to all the filmmakers. and. Thank you as well very much to Sundance for giving us, uh, for everyone at Sundance for giving us this opportunity. We actually enjoyed every minute of the 10 days. And um, so here we are. Okay. Uh, the first award, the World Cinema Dramatic Special Jury Award for Ensemble Acting goes to Dead Pigs.
short for this, do you see? Um, hold on. Wow, um, thank you. Um, definitely did not think I would be up here tonight. Um, did not make a speech, uh, did not prepare a speech, um, but I really wish that my actors were here tonight. Um, they aren't, unfortunately, but I do have my amazing producers, Jane Jen and Clarissa John. Um, and it was just an absolute pleasure to be here, to be at Sundance. Thank you, Sundance. My actors are incredible, and they really believed in this crazy film, so thank you for believing in it, too. The World Cinema Dramatic Special Jury Award for screenwriting goes to Tiempo Compartido, Timeshare, written by Julio Chavez Montes and Sebastian Hoffman. Thank you. Uh, I'll make this very quick. Uh, Ruben, I love your films, especially play. They were a great inspiration for us. Uh, you know, uh, culture is very important in this crazy political times, and Mexico is going through a civil war, and uh, it, more than important than ever, you know, that we are the culture makers, uh, and we combat, you know, all these uh, horrific things that are happening the, uh, with, uh, with this, with this film, in a way. So thank you very much. Uh -huh. Th thank you to the jury, all, all of you are an incredible inspiration. Uh, I'd like to thank my wife, Ingrid, and my daughter, Luciana, uh, everyone who made this film possible, which was so hard to get through. Uh, George, you're an amazing composer. Uh, my family, everyone, and, and Sebastian, because you know, like making this film was really a healing experience, and uh, I couldn't be more thankful for collaborating with you. Thank you. So the World Cinema Dramatic Special Jury Award for acting goes to Valeria Bertuccelli in The Queen of Fear. Um, so the actress is not here. The actress is not here, so we're gonna, we have a video. Hola, buenas noches. Muchísimas gracias. Muchas gracias al jurado. Muchas gracias al Festival de Sundance. Es un enorme honor y privilegio para mí recibir este premio. Estoy muy emocionada. Muchísimas gracias. Gracias. The directing award for World Cinema Dramatic goes to And Breathe Normally, directed by Isold Unga Doter. win Best Director at Sundance. It's like, it's kind of crazy, actually. Um, I wasn't nervous at all er earlier, now I'm just, I have a heart attack, so <laughs> pardon me if I say nothing of substance. Um, I would like to thank Sundance for having me and uh, for introducing me to, to all these filmmakers. It's one of the great things of this festival is getting to know all these great people. On uh, the first evening here, I was kind of in awe, being surrounded by all this talent and kind of intimidated, actually. And uh, so this is kind of insane. I have to share this with my great actors, Papetita Satyo, Kristin Thora Haraldsdóttir, Patrick Nökkvi Pietersson, nine-year-old, who was eight when we shot this. Uh, directing is working with your talent, so you don't really direct a film without, it, it's a collaboration. So this is, I share this with them. 
Um, also with my amazing crew, Tak Islandingar, thank you to my Swedish crew and to my Belgian crew, and I said thanks to Iceland in Icelandic. But um, it was also the crew that made this um, what it is. And to, of course, to my producer, Skule, who's here, co-producers, it's a crazy collaboration of a lot of people, and, and uh, people often lose their minds, but here we are, amazing. Tak uh, min. Thanks everybody who supported this film, and to the jury. Good taste, thanks, sorry, <laughs> thank you. Okay, World Cinema Dramatic Grand Jury Prize goes to Butterflies, directed by Tolga Karselik. I think it's better for me to just stand here and act like a clever man. Because if I open my mouth, I'll say some stupid things. I seriously, when I we shot this film in 18 days. And I'm, it's my second film here. The other one was, hi Bridget. Bridget's mom is here also. Daddy, I guess. Uh, the other film that I was here in 2015, we shot in 15 days, 19 days. It was also in world competition. And I hope my next film, we will have six weeks at least. Here's my producer. I want to, all of you to give a big clap for her and make her realize that we need six weeks at least to shoot a proper film. And I want to thank all the sales agents still didn't, who didn't think that this film is good enough to get on. Because these days they decide which films that we are going to be seeing and not. And also I want to thank my future wife, Tuche. I just proposed her like a week ago and she said yes. <laughs> so in 15 days I got this, got myself a wife. I'm out of here. Thank you very much. And I'm sorry to also get this award from the jury that I really have one by one all the respect to. And also all the Sundance team who had been here starting with not the least, but let's not an order, but Paul Federbosch, John Nine, and everyone who believed in this film. I still think it's a dream. Thank you very much. they blew our minds with their musical number from their Sundance hit, Hearts Beat Loud. Please welcome back Kiersey Clemens and Nick Offerman. Good evening. And thank you. Kiersey and I are extremely chuffed to present the 2018 Audience Awards for the Competition Films. First up are the Audience Awards for World Cinema. And here we go, it's just that easy. The award goes to This Is Home, directed by Alexandra Shiva. I, 
I have very little to say except I'm so happy and thank you so much. And um, this is our producer, Lindsay McGrew, our, our editor, Toby Shimon, our associate producer, Constance Brimlow, and uh, thank you to Sundance so much, to the audiences, thank you to Sundance Catalyst, to everyone here, just wow. <laughs> and, and to the subjects who let us sh share their stories, which without that, this would be not possible. Oh, I'm just saying that? OK. Um, <laughs> the Audience Award World Cinema Dramatic presented by Dropbox goes to, is that right? Yeah. Uh, the Guilty, Gustav Moller. <laughs> This was our first film, and um, I didn't think anyone would see this film <laughs> when we started out. And um, so first of all, thank you to uh, Sundance for having us. And um, the, the idea of the film was that it would be created by the audience. If you haven't seen the film, this doesn't make sense at all. But. Uh, so it's very special um, to get this award from the audience. And uh, yeah, um, as a director, I particularly want to thank the two people up here, which is my producer and confidant, Lina Flint, and the man that carries the whole film, a fantastic actor, Jakob Söderkring. And thank you so much. Thank you. It was good to see you. Thank you, Sundance. Fantastic. Thank you, Thank you to Gustav, the best director I know. Thank you so much. All right, folks, it is now time to take a look at our U.S. documentary and our U.S. dramatic film competitions. Also, they're signaling that the bar is closed. I'm sorry for that news, but they thought it would be gently delivered if I did it. Uh, before, before we dive into this, check out this dope-ass slideshow.
Enervating. <clears throat> and so, the audience award for U.S. Dramatic goes to Burden, directed by Andrew Heckler. First, I'd like to thank my family because they're here. They're the burden team in, in my heart and soul, and I love you very much. Um, I've been after this project for 20 years. I wrote the first draft in 1998. Um, it's a movie that means so much to me, and I hope to, to everybody else. Obviously, maybe it did. Um, I'm, uh, I, want, I told the story of Reverend David Kennedy, Michael Burden, and, and Judy Harbison Burden. And these are very brave people in the middle of nowhere in South Carolina who did something tremendous for a very short period of time um, that I think really could change the world if we just pay attention. Um, I'm nothing if I don't thank all of my actors who were unbelievable, uh, starting with my man Garrett Hedlund. He is a true tre treasure. Um, he's a first director's dream and any director's dream. Forrest Whitaker, you are true grace. Thank you very, very, very much. Andrea Riseborough, you are an artist. Um, and Usher, you are my tribe. And everybody else in the cast, I love you very much. I am nothing without my producer, Robbie Brenner. I cannot tell you the, the tenacity, the ferocity, the love that this woman shows me. She is not just my producer, she is my family, she is my friend, and I love you. Um, I just want to say one thing. It's a quote that I've used because I think it defines the movie and I, I hope it, you guys see it because you cannot turn an enemy into a friend with hate. You can only turn an enemy into a friend through love. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Solko, you predicted it. I'm your provider. I'll get you anything you need. Your soul uh, we also have the great pleasure of announcing the U.S. Competition Audience Awards, presented by Acura. Um, the Audience Award U.S. Documentary goes to The Sentence, directed by Rudy Rodgers. She had a little black dress and high heel shoes and lips were cherry red. The band was swinging. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> the, 
this film on paper started 10 years ago, but in reality it started a lot, a lot longer. You know, all my life I felt like I didn't have a voice. I felt like my community was underserved. I felt like my family was underserved, and I kept waiting for somebody to help us, somebody to step up to the plate. And when my sister was given a 15-year prison sentence for a first-time nonviolent offense six years after the fact, and I got that punch in the gut, I decided that I wasn't going to wait any longer for somebody to give me a voice. I was going to be that voice, and I was going to give her a voice. I have so many people to thank. I have to thank my lovely wife for sticking by me through all of this. My sister, my family for opening up, for being vulnerable, for being honest in front of me for a decade as I made this film. Park Pictures, Sam Bisbee. He looked across the table and he said, I believe in you. I believe in this story and I'm gonna give you final cut, even though you're a first time director. And he stuck to his word, they are the best. Sam Bisbee, Thea Dunlap, Jackie Bisbee, Wendy New, Lance Accord, amazing. My amazing editor, Viri Lieberman, pure, pure magic. April Hayes, Geetha Ganby here, the person who gave me my first job, Jamie Lussberg. The, I, there's so many people to thank. Sundance, the audience, the audience, the audience, who stayed for every Q&A, who asked such amazing questions, and most importantly asked, how can I help? How can I help create change? You are the fighters. We're all the fighters. It's in all of us. Thank you so much. Oh, Synetic for coming on board. Adam Kirsch from Brigade, John Sloss, Eric Sloss. I had a magic with me throughout this process, and if I forgot anyone, I have drink tickets I can still give out. <laughs> I love you. How are we doing, everybody? Home stretch, baby, home stretch. All right, three members of the US documentary jury include Chaz Ebert, the CEO of the movie review site RogerEbert.com. Chaz heads the TV and movie production company Black Leopard Productions and is the co founder of Ebert Fest, Roger Ebert's film festival now entering its 20th year. Barbara Chai, head of arts, culture, and coverage at Dow Jones Media Group, a suite of publications including Barron's, Penta, Market Watch, and the UK's Financial News. And Matt Holtzman, host and producer of the new KCRW show, The Document, a mashup of radio and documentaries. Please welcome Chaz Ebert, Barbara Chai, and Matt Holtzman. Thank you. Movies are said to be a machine that generates empathy. That was by a wise man, Roger Ebert, my husband. And I think that documentary movies are more than any others, one of the ways to put yourself in the shoes of someone else so you can know what it feels like to be a person of another race, a person of another gender, a person of a different age, a person of a different socioeconomic status, a person of a different religion. And when the stories are told right, you just have this connection to humanity. Thank you, Sundance for allowing our jury to see so many wonderful movies. And for the first special jury award is for storytelling. Sometimes truth 
seems stranger than fiction. And we gave this award to a movie that told a story not about one person or two people, but about three people whose lives were affected by an experiment that was done. Three brothers who ended up identical twin, identical triplets whose lives were torn apart, but they came together again. We give the U.S. Documentary Special Jury Award for storytelling to three identical strangers directed by Tim Warner. Bloody hell. Um, okay, I need to say something. Um, uh, first off, um, this, is a film, this is a film about storytelling on one level, um, and it wouldn't have happened without the first person who found this story and brought it into Raw, the production company that made it, and that's Grace Hughes Hallett. Um, thank you. Without you, there would be no story. Um, Bobby Shaffron, David Kelman, your families, the family of Eddie Gallen, thank you so much. Without you, we couldn't have told this story. Um, Raw, everyone at Raw, Channel 4, um, CNN Films, uh, Tabitha Jackson, I don't know if you know this, but you saved this film from not happening. It almost didn't happen, but you, you made it happen. Michael Hart, the film's editor, who brought the story out of the, out of the characters. And, just, uh, and, and the producer, Becky Reed. Thank you all, really appreciate it. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you to my sister, who's 13, who never gets to see me. Uh, and she said, uh, I think you need to start editing your life. Bye. So it's to save, and thank you. Bye. We are so excited to celebrate this extraordinary documentary for its vivacity and freshness of spirit, its unexpected revelation of personal detail, and dazzling, unchoreographed sequences that possess the athleticism and grace of a ballet. The US Documentary Special Jury Award for Breakthrough Filmmaking goes to Minding the Gap, directed by Bing Field. heavier than it looks. Uh, <laughs> uh, is this real? <laughs> um, I, I guess I'll try to make it quick. I, I just want to, there's so many people to thank, but you know, first and foremost, Cartempuin Films, who believed in me early on. Uh, and then and, uh, POB and ITBS and Sundance Documentary Fund and Film Independent and Garrett Scott Development Fund. Um, would you guys like to say something? But, and and my, the cast as well, you know, Kier, Zach, Nina, my mom, my brother, everyone who gave so much time and, and uh, vulnerability to this story. Thank you. And thanks to all the other films and filmmakers I got to meet. You guys are all awesome. I love you guys. So. First of all, I'd like to say quickly thank you to all the documentary f filmmakers who destroyed all of us. It was an extraordinary 10 days, and thank you for reminding us why we love documentaries and what it feels like to be a person. Um, for a film that uses a language all its own to connect us in an intimate and visceral way with people we too rarely see on the screen, the US Documentary Special Jury Award for Creative Vision goes to Hale County this morning, this evening, directed by Ramel Ross.
um, actually did prepare something because I won't remember the people to thank if this happened, and I think that's unfair. Um, I want to thank Daniel Collins and Quincy Bryan, who are the protagonists of the film, um, amazing people, co-writer Maya Krinsky, producer Jocelyn Barnes, Sue Kim, creator advisors Rob Moss, Peach Upon, where South Call, um, executive producers Don, Danny Glover, Sue Rockefeller, Tony Tabnitz from the Bertha Foundation, Laura Portress, Charlotte Cook from Field of Vision, co-producer <laughs> Linda Wise Weinman. This is ridiculous, I apologize. Um, Sundance Documentary Film Program, Just Films, Kara and, and Chiwe and Cinereach, Lena Chanoff, Threshold Foundation, Doc Society, San Francisco Field Film, Tri Tribeca All Access, IFP Lab, and CPH, and my dad, and uh, Cinetic Marketing, and Doc Film International. And one thing, there's two, like I thought like if I had an opportunity, if I had a stage, which is like what everyone wants in some way, if there are two things I could say, and one would be, you know, I think the language of photography and cinema has for too long and largely excluded black subjectivity. Um, and the film is a sort of uh, embracing of that. And also, um, the film is supposed to be an experience of the historic South. Um, and that being said, the historic South is not too historic to be redressed. So let's give it some love and, and sort of uplift the entire country. And for the fourth special jury award, we had the privilege to watch through the eyes of children who were going to a science fair. Uh, that's, that's not the award. We had the, who were, who were making the world better through science. We had the privilege of seeing a feminist warrior lawyer who was standing up for the rights of women. We had the privilege of seeing films about the last stock car race. We had the privilege of seeing films about a state who stood up to corrupt politicians. And for the Social Impact Award, we had the privilege of seeing a film about undercover policemen who put their lives on the line in order to stand up for the people and stop unjust arrest and quota systems in New York City for the U.S. Documentary Special Jury Award for Social Impact, Crime and Punishment, directed by Stephen May. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you know, last weekend, I had no idea how you guys would feel about us bringing almost a dozen cops to the party. Um, but these are good guys. Uh, no, seriously. Um, this is. It's been an incredible honor to get to know these guys um, over the last four years for this film and, and seven years with. Uh, some of the others. Um, I have to first thank my producer, Ross Tuttle, uh, my brilliant editor, Eric Metzger, uh, my amazing uh, EP, Laura Poitras. Wow, oh, this is really crazy. Um, this is an amazing room of people who believe in cinema and storytelling and its power to not just change the world, but change uh, parts of the world that we don't get to see. And, and all of their stories are ones that blew me away every day that I spent with them. Um, and I just, I thank them for trusting in our team to tell their stories. Um, we, we really hope that you guys go out and um, talk about what they've gone through because uh, this is something, this is real life. You know, they're going back, some of them are going back to keep fighting the good fight. And, um, uh, you know, we just thank you. There's so many funders and supporters that. I may be forgetting. Oh, my mom, my sister, they're going to want a boogie woogie after this, so grab them. Um, 
when we found out we got into Sundance, um, my amazing girlfriend and I also had a baby. So this is for you, Trina and Rosie. And um, thank you guys. Edwin, do you want to say something to anyone? All of the officers um, involved in this film, we jumped without a parachute and landed in Utah. Um, this is an ongoing situation, so I implore everyone to look into the film and help us however you can. We're hoping to send a ripple from New York City throughout the nation because we have to get rid of this cancer. Thank you. I just want to say um, thank you to Steve for bringing awareness uh, to this judicial injustice that affects across the United States. But we're working hard, me and my brothers from other mothers, to uh, make a change and make a difference. Thank you for your support. God bless you. I just want, I just want to say thanks to Steve. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just want to say thanks to Steve, thanks to the audience, and thank you, Sundance. Here we go. <clears throat> the U.S. Dramatic Jury includes Michael Stuhlbarg, who is quickly becoming one of mo the most sought-after actors in Hollywood. He can currently be seen in Luca Guadagnino's Call Me By Your Name, which premiered at last year's festival, as well as Guillermo del Toro's The Shape of Water and Steven Spielberg's The Post. Also on the jury is Rachel Morrison, a, ci a cinematographer, who has shot several Sundance favorites, the multiple award winner Fruitvale Station, indie breakout Dope, and the Oscar-nominated What Happened, Miss Simone. Earlier this week, she became the first woman ever to be nominated for the Academy Award for Best Cinematography. Her historic nod is for, the last, is for last year's Sundance hit, Mudbound. Joining them is Jada Pinkett Smith, an actress and producer who has starred in films from the Matrix series to The Nutty Professor. Her most recent, Girls Trip, became, became the first film that was produced, directed, written by, and starring African Americans to break $100 million at the US box office. The Will and Jada Smith Foundation supports diverse, independent filmmakers, including an initiative with the Sundance Institute, Screenwriters Intensive. Please join me in welcoming Michael Stuhlbarg, Rachel Morrison, and Jada Pinkett Smith. Don't stop it the break, your doors are singing. Hey everybody, I just want to thank Sundance on behalf of all of us for inviting us to be here this week. It's been a remarkable, uh, amazing week, and uh, it's been a privilege to be with this group. So thank you all for your time and for your love and for your minds. Um, I have two to give out at the moment. Uh, the first <clears throat> is the United States Dramatic Special Jury Award for Achievement in Acting. This year, we've seen several actors give outstanding performances in more than one film. Among them this year, Josh Hamilton, Ann Dowd, Jennifer Ely, Andrea Riseborough, Kelvin Harrison Jr., John David Washington, and Jasmine Cephas Jones. We've also been moved and delighted by the artistry of a new breed of young, talented actors, all under the age of 18, Elsie Fisher, Parker Sevak, Isabel Nelis, and Ed Oxenbold. Among all of this talent, one performance stood out as a revelation to us. The U.S. Dramatic Special Jury Award for Achievement in Acting goes to Benjamin Dickey in Blaze.
What the hell is going on? I have no earthly idea what to say. Uh, I feel like the luckiest duck around. Um, Ethan Hawke asked me to do this deal with him. I felt pretty lucky that he asked me to do that. It happened. I felt lucky that that happened. Um, this is an incredible place to stand in front of all these artists and filmmakers in this community of uh, storytellers. It occurred to me like 20 minutes ago watching all these uh, documentary filmmakers up here sharing their stories that memory is about the only thing humans have. That's pretty much it. And all you people are um, acting as like the collective hard drive of all these stories. My heart's beating real fast. I had no idea I'd be standing here talking to you all. I play a fellow called Blaze Foley in this movie called Blaze. I'd like to thank um, Sybil Rosen, Ethan Hawke for writing the story, and Beth Blofson, my sweetheart in life, and the art director of the film, Alia Shawkat, Josh Hamilton, Chris uh, Christopherson, Charlie Sexton. And I guess I'd leave you with the Blazeism. Blaze Foley, uh, he used to say, you might not get what you go after, but you do get what you wouldn't have got if you hadn't gone after what you didn't get. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, the next award is the U.S. Dramatic Special Jury Award for Excellence in filmmaking. This award goes to a feature we all felt very strongly about. It combines so many elements of excellence in filmmaking. It's mastery in storytelling, combined with an extraordinary eye and ear to guide us along. Its surprises and revelations gave us so much to intrigue us, to entertain us, and to move us, which is why we've created a special jury prize for excellence in filmmaking for I Think We're Alone Now, directed by Reed Moreno. Don't stop it the break of dawn the singing. I'm not Reed Murano. Um, I'm Mike Mikowski, the screenwriter. Uh, but I believe that Reed did leave a, a video message, and I'm just accepting the award on her behalf. She's bar none the single most talented person I could have ever hoped to work with on this project, and I only hope that I get to do it again. Um, thanks to all of our producers, to Sundance, and to Dolby, and, and just, I'm gonna let Reed talk. <laughs> thanks, guys. Okay, just let me know if you uh, want to put the video back up. Um, I want every filmmaker in, in this particular section to know that this was very hard for us as a jury, and I want you to know, I think you're all winners. All your movies were absolutely fabulous. It was really, really difficult. So congratulations to all of you. For the delicate filmmaking around this difficult subject matter, the U.S. Dramatic Special Jury Award for Outstanding First Feature goes to Monsters and Men, <laughs> Rinaldo Marcus Green.
Thank you. Um, my wife, Kiara, my brother, Rashad, I love you guys, my family, Rio, my son. Uh, my producers, I couldn't have done this without you. Uh, this is an incredible accomplishment, and you can't do it without a team. So I just want to thank Elizabeth Lodge Stepp, uh, Josh Penn, Eddie Weissman, Oren Moverman, who's not here, Julie Lebedev, who's not here, Luca Borghese, who's not here, and Charles Miller. Thank you, guys. Uh, this was a Sundance Lab project. We shot this film in September. Um, I mean, this, the Institute gave me everything. Uh, Michelle Satter, um, Ann Lai, uh, Shira, and of course, Robert Redford did show up on my set, which is kind of crazy. Uh, he asked me what the mirror meant to my scene, and I didn't have a really sophisticated answer for him, uh, but I did go back and think about it, and it was about reflection. And um, <laughs> uh, So thank you, Sundance. Uh, obviously, the programming team for, for, for bringing us here and allowing us to, uh, to showcase our, our work. Uh, the other filmmakers, I mean, this is, an, you know, we do this uh, together, so uh, we'll have a drink after this. Thank you, guys. Um, and last but not least, we, we had so much institutional support for this project uh, to get started, you know, when you're just trying to, trying to ruffle money together. So, uh, you know, Center Reach and IFP and Tribeca All Access and, uh, you know, uh, San Francisco Film Society, we had so much, so much support. Uh, guys, thank you so much. I love you for everybody that I forgot. My incredible cast and crew. I could not have done this without my actors. Uh, John David Washington, Anthony Ramos, uh, uh, Kelvin Harrison Jr. Uh, you guys were incredible. Thank you for trusting me. Uh, and my crew, uh, Patrick Scola, my, my DP. He's not here, but he's incredible. As you know, we have an Oscar here <laughs> because of our DPs and our editors, Scott, Scott, Scott Cummings and, uh, and Justin Chan. Thank you, guys. I love you. I'm here to present the Waldo Salt Screenwriting Award for U.S. Dramatic. This film is original in a time when most everything has been tried. It's quirky and nuanced, unexpected and real, and manages weight while still infused with moments of levity. The Waldo Salt Screenwriting Award goes to Nancy by Christina Cho. Did not have anything planned. Oh, wow. Um, I just want to thank everyone that believed in this um, when it was just me and Andrea Riseboro, who is the lead of Nancy and, and the soul of Nancy. And um, I want to thank my producers, Amy Lowe, Michelle Cameron, and uh, my executive producers, Barbara Broccoli, Minette uh, Louie from Game Changer, and Rachel Song and um, my amazing cast and crew. Um, it was a dream team, and we had 80% female crew and 50% POC. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Right. He directed O.J. Made in America, which premiered at Sundance and won the 2016 Academy Award for Best Doc Documentary Feature. Please welcome Ezra Edelman. Hello. Uh, I am here to present the Directing Award for U.S. Documentary. Um, I want to thank Sundance and thank the 16 directors of these extraordinary movies. It really was a, a privilege to spend 10 days with your film. The award for directing goes to a film, a beautiful, heartbreaking film that portrays the journey of an extraordinary woman with the utmost sensitivity and care, while also shedding light in the unspeakable tragedy of a people too many of us know nothing about. The directing award goes to Alexandria Bomback for On Her Shoulders. Um, 
Wow, there's a lot of you. Um, this film has been a very humbling experience, and I would just like to thank the jury, Sundance, that gave us some, this amazing opportunity to share it with the world and have such an amazing world premiere. The audiences that had such an amazing response and meant so much to us, my wonderful team, my producers, and Riot that trusted me to make this film. And to Nadia, thank you so much for your trust. And this is for you, Nadia, and to the Yazidis. Thank you. He's a director, actor, writer, and producer who has been at Sundance in all of these capacities. As a director, his films include Drinking Buddies, Happy Christmas, Digging for Fire, and Win It All. His work in television includes episodes of HBO's Looking and Netflix's Love. He's the creator of the Netflix original series Easy, which he produces, writes, and directs. From the US Dramatic Jury, please welcome Joe Swanberg. Hey guys. Um, thanks so much to Sundance for inviting me to be part of this process. Thanks to my co-jurors for the great conversations, interesting points of view. It was a really awesome 10 days. Um, for diving into complicated territory with humor, compassion, intelligence, and subtlety, we're very excited to present the directing award to Sarah Colangelo for The Kindergarten Teacher. She don't make sense to let you know from All right, we might have a video. There were some mixed messages about whether she was here or not. I think we have a video. Hi there. Thank you so much for this incredible honor. It's really unexpected, and, um, and it means so much in a year with so many moving and impeccably directed films in the lineup. Um, I want to thank my cast and crew. Could not have uh, made this film without your talent and dedication. Uh, thank you to all of my producers. Uh, thank you to Nadav Lapid, uh, who gave me such beautiful source material. Um, and thank you to Maggie Gyllenhaal, who I really share this award with. Um, you know, for us, this is a film about the artistic process and the heartbreak of the artistic process. Um, and it's about a woman who is sort of screaming into the void, who, who, who wants to be heard and, um, and, and wants to be in contact with art. Um, so I hope it, it's, it's a timely story. Um, thank you to Sundance uh, for all of your support through the years, and, and thank you to the jury. Um, I can't tell you how much uh, it means to be receiving this award. Thanks so much. He conceived and produced Man on Wire, which won the World Cinema Documentary Grand Jury Prize and the Audience Award at Sundance in 2008, then went on to win the Academy Award. He returned to Sundance with The Imposter, Project Nim, and Searching for Sugar Man, which also went on to win the Academy Award. From the US Documentary Jury, please welcome Simon Chin. Hello there, I'm here to present the US um, Grand Jury, the Grand Jury Prize for the US Documentary. But before I do, I want to invite my fellow jurors up. Slightly break form, I realize, but come up, because uh, we all made this decision together. It was, a, it was a tough process, but um, I think we've got a winner. And this, this was a film that we all felt <clears throat> skillfully brought the tropes of a thriller and the righteous anger of an ag advocacy film to a story that's full of humanity, passion and sheer heroism. I can honestly say that I left the cinema wanting to be a better person. The Grand Jury Prize for US Documentary goes to Kailash, directed by Derek Doneen. Tight, tight. Telling all the whole damn world. Oh, 
my God. <laughs> If you guys are anything like me, you're leaving this festival feeling um, more inspired than you've ever felt in your entire life, and uh, probably more exhausted than you've ever felt in your entire life. This is insane. Um, uh, wow. Sarah Anthony and I uh, made this movie for the last two years, and um, have just been through everything together. And. Uh, <laughs> Um, this is, this is, uh, th if you, for the documentary filmmakers in this room, you know that um, you have to give part of yourself to making a movie and, and uh, it's not always fun and it's very often not easy, um, but uh, everybody here is here because they believe in the power of story and certainly that's uh, the reason why we made this movie because we wanted uh, to do a, a very small thing that might just change the way that we think as human beings and be more aware of the world around us. Uh, my amazing wife, Jenna, is here and uh, she supported me through this entire thing. Uh, Davis Guggenheim believed in me uh, when I was nothing and gave me this opportunity. Thank you, Davis, who's not here. Um, and, and Kailash, who gave his story over the last two years to us and inspired us every day. And, and to our amazing team, Lars, the cinematographer who's not here, and Josh, who also cut Minding the Gap, which is my favorite film here. <laughs> uh, and, and, and Brian, who also cut The Devil We Know, which is another amazing film here. Um, my goodness, thank you guys so much. I wanna thank Participant Media for believing in this film and Concordia. And um, Kailash says that fear is contagious, but courage is also contagious. And I think everyone here has great courage in making films and telling stories, so thank you so much. All right. Guys, I have great news. This is the last award of the evening. Here, here we go. Her critically acclaimed performance as Minnie in the DreamWorks film The Help won her an Academy Award, BAFTA, Golden Globe, Screen Actors Guild, and Critics' Choice Award, among numerous other accolades. She recently starred as mathematician Dorothy Vaughn in Hidden Figures, which earned her a second nomination for both an Academy Award and a Golden Globe. She is currently nominated for the 2018 Academy Award for her work in Guillermo del Toro's fantasy drama The Shape of Water. From the U.S. Dramatic Jury, please welcome Octavia Spencer. Well, I'm just excited to be here, and I can't get rid of that tune. Mm -hmm. But I won't make you guys wait any longer. Congratulations to all the filmmakers in the U.S. dramatic category. Cinema's ability to educate, advocate, entertain, and inspire is on full display in this film. Delivered by an effortlessly diverse cast, representing a broad array of society struggling for acceptance and recognition. The Grand Jury Prize for U.S. Dramatic Competition goes to The Miseducation of Cameron Post, directed by Desiree Akhavan. React to the beat, slip and slide into the groove. Infectious rhythm, making you move. Wax and waning on the floor. Uh -huh. Skipping inside with the clap. From oh my gosh. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Sundance, for supporting this movie and allowing us to be here in competition with all these incredible filmmakers. Um, on behalf of the entire Cameron Post team, we want to dedicate this award to the LGBTQ survivors of sexual conversion therapy. And we just wanted to make this movie to shine light onto the fact that it is only illegal in nine states out of the 50 states in this country to practice sexual conversion therapy. Um, so it's important to us. And so sadly, Desiree Akhavan, our beautiful director, couldn't be here today, but she made a very amazing video for us. So here we go. You 
to the jurors and thank you to Sundance. This thank is you guys. Just to summarize what Desiree said without any of the humor and any of the photogenic presence, um, uh, this movie is for anybody out there who um, is made to feel that it's not okay to be the way they are. Um, this movie is for them to tell them that we love them and that it is okay. So thank you all. Thank you to the jury. Thank you to Sundance. We love you. All right, guys, we fucking did it, right? 10 more days, 10 more days, 10 more awards, 10 more awards. No, no, we're out of awards. Uh, that concludes the 2018 Sundance Film Festival Awards ceremony. Guys, congratulations to everyone and anyone who worked on any of the films that were shown at Sundance. Guys, before you get up and leave, I'm being told because it's Sundance, we have to do a 20 minute Q&A. So I'm so sorry, but no, I'm just kidding. Of course not. Uh, have a great night, everybody. Take care. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.